The issue of what comprises your care coordination team is a major question for most of us. Ideally, every practice would have at least one care coordinator or several within their system that they can uh, dialogue with and use to manage their patient's care. The reality is that many of us are not being reimbursed to the point where we can afford care coordinators. If you are in a position where your system funds a care coordinator, that's great. If you're not, then the way we do it in our practice is to pick out one of the uh, mid-level extenders or mid-level providers uh, or our, our head nurse to provide the care co coordination for that individual patient. Uh, the resources involved will vary and the reality is that you really have to work with what you have right now. For example, if we have a patient who has really bad CHF and diabetes and needs to have their care coordinated, we'll think about what resources are there within the community uh, that we can draw upon. For example, there's one person now in my practice who really has a lot of care needs and we've coordinated his care with one of the home health agencies that is particularly good at that. And I'd recommend that until we, you get a specific level of reimbursement for care coordination, that you look around your community, see what kinds of home health services or services through your hospital or health system that you can use to help in that care coordination for a given patient. Care coordination is tremendously important and supervision of that care is even more important. Uh, most people who've done this successfully have had regular meetings of the care coordinators every week to every two weeks to make sure that all the, all the tasks are being done, all the questions are being answered, and that there's a very close relationship between you, your goals for the patient, and what is actually being provided. When we have uh, care shared with one of our mid-level extenders, physician assistants, nurse practitioners, we make sure that we sign off on all the charts. We try to make sure that we have regular conferences with them to make sure that when they come in that we're in the loop and we give the appropriate amount of support to our nurse practitioners or physician assistants so they feel that they are well supported and just as important that the patient knows that their doctor is actively involved in their care that they're not being given to a, a lower level provider but in fact everybody they see is a tremendously important part of the care that they receive.